In the early 19th century, a dark shadow descended upon the peaceful Bell family farm in Tennessee. This was a family like any other, living a quiet life, tending to their crops and livestock. But one day, tranquility gave way to terror. Unseen forces began to disrupt their lives. It started subtly with strange noises that echoed through the halls at night, unexplained disturbances that sent a chill down their spines. Objects moved without reason, the air grew cold, and the sense of being watched never left them. As the days turned into weeks, these anomalies increased in intensity. The family would awake to find furniture overturned, their belongings scattered. But the most unsettling of all was the whispering voice that seemed to permeate the air, a voice that spoke their names, knew their fears. Little did the family know these eerie occurrences were just the beginning of a decade-long nightmare. As the days turned into weeks, the spirit grew bolder, its actions more menacing. The entity that came to be known as the Bell Witch did not merely confine itself to simple mischief. Its presence became a reign of terror, one that would torment the Bell family for over a decade. The poltergeist was known to physically attack the family members. John Bell and his daughter Betsy were the primary targets of these assaults. They would often wake up with scratches and bruises with no plausible explanation for their origin. The attacks were not just physical. The spirit would also torment them mentally, causing great distress and fear. The family was plagued by strange, unexplained noises. These ranged from gnawing sounds on the bedposts to chains dragging across the floor, from faint whispers in the dead of night to the guttural voice of an unseen entity. The house was alive with eerie sounds that seemed to come from nowhere and everywhere at once. The spirit didn't just stop at physical assaults and strange noises. It had an uncanny ability to mimic the voices of the family members, often causing confusion and furthering its torment. It would also predict future events with unnerving accuracy. This ability to foretell the future added an extra layer of fear and uncertainty to the already terrifying situation. The spirit seemed to have a particular disdain for John Bell. It singled him out, focusing its attacks and torment on him. The constant harassment and fear took a toll on his health, gradually weakening him. Betsy, John's daughter, was another prime target of the spirit's torment. She was often the victim of the spirit's physical attacks and was subjected to its cruel mimicry. This relentless torment led to John Bell's weakening health and eventually his untimely demise. The Bell Witch had not only tormented the family, but had also claimed a life. This haunting remains one of the most chilling tales of the paranormal, a testament to the power and malice of the unseen. Even after John Bell's death, the haunting did not cease. It continued to plague the Bells, leaving a lasting legacy of terror. The terror was far from over. The Bell Witch, relentless as ever, continued her torment. One of the most chilling episodes occurred on Betsy Bell's wedding day. An otherwise joyous occasion was marred by an uninvited guest, the Bell Witch. The spirit was said to have visited Betty, casting a pall over the celebrations. The witch wasn't done there. She continued to persistently haunt the Bell family, her presence an ever-looming spectre over their lives. Eventually the torment ceased, but the scars were deep and lasting. The Bell family, and indeed the wider community, were forever marked by the haunting. The tale of the Bell Witch seeped into the fabric of local folklore a chilling testament to a decade of terror. To this day, the tale of the Bell Witch continues to send chills down the spines of those who dare to delve into its chilling history. Decades have passed, but the mystery of the Bell Witch still baffles researchers and paranormal investigators alike. Theories abound, with some arguing that the haunting was a case of mass hysteria, while others propose that it was a complex hoax orchestrated for reasons unknown. The evidence, or lack thereof, fuels these debates. Historical researchers poring over the written accounts from the time grapple with inconsistencies and gaps in the narrative. Meanwhile, paranormal investigators, armed with modern technology and methodologies, attempt to gather empirical evidence to support or refute the haunting's authenticity. Yet despite their efforts, definitive answers elude us. The haunting's very nature, ephemeral, intangible, and largely based on personal experience, makes it a challenging subject for empirical investigation. Skeptics and believers continue to lock horns over the interpretations and implications of the events that unfolded over two centuries ago. Whether a terrifying truth or a tall tale, 
the Bell Witch Haunting remains one of the most compelling and hair-raising stories in paranormal history.